Hello again, welcome back. This is the second part to the truth recordings. So let's get back to the uh, cassette tapes. This is where we left off at the report to Big Boss about Zero being attacked. And we're going to start off with the secret recording between Pars and Zero. Thank you for coming. Please. You're... Hmm. Is it that odd? I suppose the cuffs have gotten a bit loose. Although, truth be told, I have been spending more time in pajamas as of late. No. Nothing. A tie, perhaps. Not the most fashionable pattern, I admit. No, it is very nice. How sweet. Will you take a little brandy? Uh, You're hardly under age, after all. No, thank you. Hmm. Please, sit. <clears throat> hmm. Pacifica Ocean. What? Ah, uh, yes. You've already begun. Hmm. <sighs> Not bad. A schoolgirl through and through. Even he won't suspect otherwise. Here you are. Thank you. I heard you were sick? Poppycock. I just like to take a little time off work. You? You must feel that way sometimes. Well... <laughs> anyway, I could hardly greet my first guest from that damned bed. I, uh, missed my chance to catch you snoring. <laughs> now I'm twice as glad I got ready in time. Drink, before it gets cold. English breakfast tea. All I have, I'm afraid. <laughs> there were eight candidates before you. Meaning you will be the ninth Paz Ortega Andrade. What happened to the others? They're in the next room. They've been taking it easy these past few months. They... Do you see any windows here? No. I've gotten used to it, this life. I am who I am, after all. And I've had my fill of cursing this bloody dungeon. Excuse me. But I can't help sometimes. Wishing I could see the stars. What should I do? Well, you... You could go outside? Go up to the roof? Wait for the clouds to pass? You would have a view of Manhattan. And a pretty one, too. But once the wind blows, and the clouds pass, you can look up and see a sky full of stars. Even here. You've had a hard time getting to where you are. Yeah, yes Sewer rats lead better lives. I know. Extreme training. Starvation. Days spent without sleep. Abandoned, hurt, and all but killed in every way imaginable. Some of your compatriots died. Others betrayed you, 
left you for dead, and you did the same to them. But through it all, you survived, and you alone made it here. Just look at you. I can see everything you've been through. Yes. Consider this mission a reward for the mountain you've climbed. Thank you. Yes, well, you know what's next. Yes. And you are prepared? Yes. I believe you. That ever so slight tan. Not the type you'd get on the west coast. If I didn't know better, I'd say you really did grow up around the equator. But it runs deeper than that. One look at you, and I see a wide-eyed student yearning for peace. Born and raised in Central America. I can see it all. How much preparation have you done? A little. You'll be perfect for this, to strike back at Snake. I'll share everything I know about him. <gasps> but you mustn't forget who you're dealing with. If he were to get the better of you, well, I deeply regret having put you in that position. But beyond that, I'm putting my life in your hands. You can trust me, Cypher. Hm. None of my friends call me that. Tea's gone cold. Shall I make some more? I know we are the only ones here. Hmm? There is no one in the other room. And how do you know that? You said I was your first guest. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in quite a while. All right, then. Cypher has been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. You met with him, face to face, in order to contact Big Boss. Tell me where he is. Where is Cypher? Where is Zero? I've never known choice. Where I was born, the language I speak, I've never had the freedom to choose for myself. But you, right now, are free. Do as you will. This will save Big Boss. It may. Will you really kill Zero for me? Not for you. All right. Zero is... Hell's Kitchen, 10th Avenue. He is undergoing treatment there. Hmm, not exactly Hyde Park. His medical needs keep him from moving around. That is why he summoned me there. The other residents are of varying race. And the ages, but in reality, all 40 units are cipher personnel. It took him 10 years to replace the original occupants. He has got places like this all over the world. No better place to hide a needle than a stack of needles. Hmm on the top floor a room with no windows and no doors even the elevator does not reach it officially the floor does not exist the only access is by a secret staircase one floor down room 702 <laughs> shades of world war ii Nobody realizes the entire building is a setup. People go in 
and out all day. But they're all cipher. The building blends right in with the rest of the city. They disseminate rumors that a gang operates out of the building that keeps most outsiders away. And most of them are there as security in case of an emergency. But even they don't know what they're really protecting. Food traffic, goods coming in and out, phone lines, water and sewage. It is all monitored remotely by satellite and cameras inside and out. Should he need it, there is a sealed off water conduit that can be used to escape to the Hudson River and from there to the sea. But from the outside, it is just another building. A perfect disguise. So the Major believes zero suspicion equals total security. Very bold. It's just the kind of ruse I'd expect from him. So long as no one's suspicions are aroused, you could hide there forever. On the other hand, if someone figures it out, there are dozens of ways in. And he's so paranoid about information slipping out, no one involved has the full picture. That ignorance is a weakness, the downfall of a need-to-know system. The pitfalls are clear. Circumventing them will be simplicity itself. You hate him, don't you? Hate? He never left me to die. I owe him my life. I'm bound to repay the favor. Any way I can. But that's not what you really want to know. What you want to know is, do I hate Big Boss? <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate the man. I do deserve a little more of his gratitude. But he probably has no idea who I am. So you see, I have no reason to hate him at all. I mean to have my revenge against Zero. It's not petty hatred or resentment, nothing so personal. Even the hottest lava eventually cools, becoming a mountain, and that mountain becomes the land. Scalding steam comes back down as rain, forming rivers, draining into the sea. It's then that nature's order sets in. Now I'm merely a part of that cycle. Just like Zero. And you. And Big Boss. Don't do it! That lava, that vengeance, is already set as stone. Too late to change things now. Don't kill him! The choice is not mine to make. Proceed. Please. Shh. Give her the shot already. Hold her still. 